Hello, this is Peter with another video. And today is the 4th of June. Um, I'm filming this video on. I uh, just thought I'd show some of the bananas I've got planted in the ground so far. Um, so I've got three in ground so far, which I'll um, be showing you today. And I've got some more which I'm planning to plant in the ground soon. Um, these three are the same um, types of banana that I had in the ground last year. Um, Although one of them is not the exact same plant, but I'll get to that when I show that one. This is the Manzano banana, or sometimes known as the apple banana. Um, and this one is um, one that I dug up last, last year and overwintered indoors. I planted it in the ground a few weeks back um, before I went away um, on holiday and then it was looking fine until maybe about a week ago. I noticed the pseudo stem was leaning over. Um, so what I think has happened is a lot of these outer layers have started to to rot or to you know deteriorate, um, and that's caused the the plant to weaken and bend over. Uh, the very inner core does seem to be healthy. So I'm gonna. I decided to. Um, tie it to, well, put a bamboo stake around it uh, to hold it up, stop it from falling over in the hope that any new leaves will push through the middle and help to strengthen and thicken the pseudo stem over time. Never tried this before, but I thought I'd give it a go because I wanted to try and keep the, the height of the plant. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd give that a go. If it doesn't work, I'll probably just have to cut it lower down and it'll hopefully push out lower down. But yeah, I'll keep you all updated on how this goes. Um, the next plant along is the uh, Dwarf Orinoco. Now this is actually not the same plant that I had in the ground last year in its place. Um, this is actually the same, it's the same type of uh, plant. I got it at the same time as the previous one. Um, I decided to overwinter the other one in ground, which uh, proved to be a complete failure because of the colder than average winter we got um, back in December. Those temperatures were just too much, I think. Um, I think it was that, not necessarily the cold on its own, but the, the constant dampness which caused the, the plant to rot off on the ground. Um, I did dig it up a couple of weeks ago when I planted this. Um, and there was actually one healthy root, but the rest of the com was completely rotted away. Um, so I ended up cutting most of the com to have a look at it. Um, I put it in a pot, just what was left of it, and the healthy root that was left, just in case it decides to come back. But I'm very doubtful that will do anything now. But yeah, I replaced it with its... Uh, with another one that was about the same size that I kept in a pot last year. Um, but yeah, that's not pushed through yet. I'm not sure if it's going to show up on camera, but there is a new leaf just starting to come out there. It's very sunny today, so I can't even see if it's focused. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, hopefully this one will do quite well this year. Uh, of course, it was grown in a container last year um, so its roots are not going to be as extensive as the, the one that was planted in ground last year but uh, yeah hopefully it'll do quite well uh, next we have the the Rajapuri um, and this is the the one that I planted last year I overwintered it indoors um, it also had two pups that are separated from it um, you might you might have seen recently that I sent one to uh, to Brett, Lionheart84. Um, and yeah, the other one I've still got indoors. I'm probably going to bring that out soon. Um, and I might plant that one in the ground somewhere else as well. Um, now this one has suffered a little bit of pseudo stem dieback. It was probably up to about, probably up to about here. This new leaf is coming out. A little bit lower now, um, but yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Hopefully, once it opens up, it'll start growing a lot faster as we're having quite good weather at the minute. Um, of course, that can always change here, 
but uh, yeah, hopefully it'll do quite well this summer. Um, and again, I'll probably end up doing the same thing next year and overwintering it indoors. So I don't want to risk these um, rarer types of bananas. But yeah, that's just a quick update on some of the bananas that I've got planted in the ground here um, so far. And I'll um, keep you all updated with how these do um, over the summer. Um, of course, the Musa Baju here, which I've uh, done a separate update for. If you want to, I'll put a link to that if you want to have a look at how this is. Um, Alice has been doing. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you enjoy these videos. And um, I'll keep you all updated with how these uh, get on over the summer. Um, I'll also do some further updates of some of the other bananas um, which are growing in containers and also some of the other ones I'm going to be planning to plant outside this year. So yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.